The second of these two icons along the top here is screen mode. And screen mode shows you normal, preview, bleed, slug and presentation. And oddly enough, if you click on this icon down here at the bottom of the toolbox, you'll see the same list. So why Adobe decided to put these two in a place that's available to you all the time is beyond me. But I guess, you know, if it's too much effort to drag your cursor all the way up here to... The, oh, that's so... You know, you can just drop it on that. Anyway, the main thing is you've got the choice, and that's the big thing. Now, if I click on that, you'll see the top listing is normal, and that means this layout. That's what we've got here. Uh, just means that you can see frame edges. If you click on something, you can see a selection frame. So you can see all the elements of the page. We've also got preview, and I've shown you that before. You can access that, and I'll click on it here, by pressing the W on your keyboard, and that's what I'm doing now. So that's an on-off toggle, just with W. And that gives you print preview. It isolates the page that would be trimmed out of whatever the press sheet is, and unless you've got something selected, it removes all the margins and all the guides, and the idea is it shows you how this will look when it prints. Next, we've got bleed. Now, the bleed refers to this red line that you can see around three sides of the page. And the idea is that if you had an object, and I'm just going to draw one, that you wanted to have go right out to the edge, uh, the printer couldn't deal with that when they trimmed the page out. What you've got to do instead is give the printer a little bit of extra, and that's the bleed. And so you push this object off the edge of the page by one-eighth of an inch on any side that it needs to run off the page, and the printer can then trim into it easily and give you something that looks right. If we kept it here and the printer tried to trim on that edge, well, registration's not perfect, and so for a few sheets it would work, and for a lot of the sheets the red would go over where they cut, and for some of them the red would not quite go up to where they cut, and you'd have a thin white line, and the job would just look terrible. So to make it easy for the printer, we do that. And this applies to images, anything that you want to have run off the edge of the page. However, you'll see that the red line does not go down the left-hand edge of the page. And that's because if this was page one, it is necessarily the right-hand page of a document. It could be the front cover of a newsletter, it could be page one of a book, um, but page one is almost always the right-hand page. And that means that it's a binding edge. If it's a facing page document, then you're looking at page one on its own, but it's actually the front cover and attached here, folded around the other side, is the back cover. If you had a one-eighth of an inch bleed off the front cover, that would actually extend onto the back cover. And very occasionally, that is the result that you get when you print something. If you put a bleed on this, it's called the inside edge. This side of the page is called the outside edge. If you put a bleed on the inside edge, it may appear on the page that constitutes the other side of the spread, which in this case would be the back cover. So if I put a one-eighth of an inch bleed on the front cover object like this, that strip might appear on the back cover when it's printed. And similarly, if on the back cover I did it like that, this strip might appear on the front cover when it was printed. It shouldn't, but I've known it happen. And it's one of those things that's not consistent so you just don't want to go there. You don't want to get into it. And the easiest way is you don't add a bleed to the inside edge of a document. So if this is a single page, then this is top and bottom and left and right. But if it was a double page, then this would be the top and the bottom still for both of them. This fold line, the binding edge, would be the inside margin. And this edge and the outside edge on the other page would be the outside margin. So that's how it's referred to. So I never put a bleed on the inside edge. This other gray-blue line around the whole thing is known as the slug. And traditionally, a slug was just a name given to a block of type made up of the metal blocks that type used to be printed on. And on every print job, the printer would create a little slug that just said the name of the job, maybe the date, what page it was, that kind of stuff. It would appear out here 
in an area that was going to be trimmed off and thrown away eventually. Well, now you can add a slug area and you can choose to have that be included when you make the PDF. The page will still be designated by crop marks, but the slug can be used to hold useful information like notes to the printer, like uh, don't screw this one up like you did the last one, or uh, maybe a fold line, something useful like a fold line, indicating exactly where you want that page folded. Because if you don't put it in, someone else has to decide for you, and that's when things often start falling apart. So you need to make things absolutely as clear as you can when you're sending it off to somebody else to deal with further. So here we've got preview mode, that's that on-off toggle. Here we've got bleed mode, which shows you the bleed area as well. And if I press W, we go back to normal. W again, this time, takes us back to the bleed view. So that becomes the toggle. If I choose slug instead, then we can see the slug area, and now by pressing W on the keyboard, that is included in the on-off toggle. And last but definitely not least, presentation. How about that? It isolates the page on a black background, and the shortcut for that is Shift-W, and Shift-W again takes you back into your regular layout view in InDesign. So Shift-W is presentation, on-off. So really you've got most of these available to you as keyboard shortcuts. And if you want to look at the bleed or the slug view, once you've selected it, then that's also available to you as an on-off keyboard shortcut. So those are the screen modes.